<laughs> Niobium's name is derived from Greek mythology, from the woman Niobe, daughter of Tantalus. And yes, there's an element Tantalum, and he's directly below her in the periodic table, and it's hard to tell them apart sometimes. But in mythology, after Niobe had more children, seven sons and seven daughters, and because Niobe felt she had a lot more prominent stature, she asked, My father was a guest at the table of the gods. My husband built and rules this city. I have seven sons and seven daughters worthy of pride. You revere gods and goddesses you cannot even see. But aren't I worthy of worship as a goddess? <laughs> well, sounding a bit too haughty to everyone in town, the god Artemis and her twin sister Apollo used arrows for their vengeance. Artemis killed Niobe's daughters. Apollo killed Niobe's sons. I don't know if any were spared, but according to mythology, when Niobe's husband saw their dead sons, he killed himself in grief and despair. After losing everything, Niobe fled to Mount Sibylus. As she wept, she was turned into stone. And to this day, there is a natural rock formation there that resembles a woman's face, and rainwater pours through the porous limestone. They call this the Weeping Rock in honor of Niobe. And sure, niobium is in chemicals that are water-soluble, and, and niobium is used in superconducting magnets, probably like how Niobe had so many children and how everyone was drawn to her beautiful face as she was always resplendently adorned in gold and jewels. Though I doubt she had metal jewelry made out of niobium, even though it turns to a beautiful blue whenever it's exposed to air. Niobium is mixed with steel to make it stronger. Since the niobium in metal also is more resistant to heat, it can be used in anything from jet engines to liquid rock thrusters for outer space. And the funny twist? Since Apollo killed Niobe's sons, niobium is even in the main engine of the Apollo lunar modules. <laughs> you know, niobium is often used in commemorative coins with gold and silver. So, who knows? Maybe Niobe did have niobium in her jewelry, as everyone admired her beauty, until she lost it all. <laughs> 